the best one. TH versus Lawlight, Human versus Night Elf. I can't wait for the games to start. This is so exciting. Yeah, this is also going to tell us, I think, pretty well, potentially, how and what good shape they, these two players are. If they show up in the best shape, they actually have great chances of getting far. But if they don't, then this field of play is just insane. Uh, as we mentioned plenty of times before, Group B is the group of death. So you need to be playing close to your A game or your very best to get out of this group. I have no real reason to doubt TH. He has, over the last couple of months, not really given us much reason to. Law Lyot, he's the greatest one player in the world, yes. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's good enough if TH has the right strats. Yeah, his year so far was very good, but not exceptionally well for Law Lyot, apparently. Uh, like, he had very good results in high-stake tournaments in the first half. But then he kind of dropped a little. I haven't seen too many big runs by Law A couple of silver medals in online competition here and there, but nothing too fancy. TH, d do we even have to introduce him? Like, how crazy is his performance? I mean, I Infi surpassed him a little recently, but here we have Law New hair color again! Master of the Warden is what we call him since 2015. He looks ready, dude. He's like, let's get the show on the road, guys. Yeah. I don't have all night. Yeah, I'm he gonna I'm gonna keep this 2-0 streak alive that we've been <laughs> ha having had so far. Yeah, he's been working out a lot more. Lost a lot of weight in the, the last half or the, the past half year, and taking things very serious now. When you talk to him, he doesn't seem like a various person, but yes, since signed by newbie, he's a different guy. Th, again, a battle of newbie versus rogue warrior, as we had in game number one with Lin versus Fly. Will Newbie still prevail? TH is on a little bit of a redemption curse, Remo, because there's one entire year of WGL without a Chinese in the final. It was Moon yep. Foggy, it was Moon Happy, but these Chinese, man, they want to reclaim their spot before it was Chinese winners all along until Moon came in. Yeah, it's been a bit of a drought, certainly, for the Chinese, uh, but TH, again, last... Uh, Last tournament, last season, if he hadn't met Happy, I'm pretty sure he would have gone to the final. Um, and if he plays just as well this time, he has good chances of that again. I was thinking about this a little bit earlier. If we consider all Gold Leagues, all GCS, all WGL, is TH the strongest if, you take, if we take all of them into consideration? No, then it's 1-0 uh, to zero with two gold medals, two silver medals. Yeah, I don't mean results. I mean like... Uh, Performance. Performances. Yeah, showing. His, his win was the most dominant by far. Yeah, on average also he seems to me like uh, he's the guy you can rely on most to play very well. And now his open this is an opening match, right? Yes it is. Yes it is. That's the second game of group A at uh, of group B at the same time Lin is playing Foggy off stage. But we focus on Korea and on China, on Lula uh, Lolliet and TH. The second best player in the world on the right hand side, only a couple of ELO points behind Lin. Lolite, when it comes to these points, he doesn't seem to be that strong. He's still in the top 10, don't get me wrong. But what makes him so special are the big matches. Just, when was it? 10 days before his match against Happy? He's in for the extraordinaire, mm -hmm. Mr. Lolite. Will TH crumble under this? The map picks and bans. We have Amazonia, Terranus Stand, and Northern Isles. TH leaves two Warden maps in, and that's the question in this series. Lolliot, best Warden player. TH and Infi, by far the best anti-Warden player. We start at Amazonia. That is not a Warden map, but if someone can make this work, it's Lolliot. He tried it before. Didn't really look too impressive, but maybe he found new ways, or will TH just shut him down? Yeah, the Warden for a very long time again on AZ was completely out of the question. But as you correctly said, we have seen her attempted once again. Warden just seems to be by far the best hero to go into the late game. The Keeper is basically completely out of the meta, seems so underwhelming, especially against human. The Demon Hunter can be pretty good, but normally if you get into 56 supply, suddenly he doesn't look that strong anymore either with the Bears by his side. So the Warden is what you want. but. Hard to make work. You need to get level 3, you need to get the right items and timings. <laughs> okay. And he is doing it. Alright, he tried it before. And I talked to him, like, 
not in the goofy way we do on videos and stuff, but like serious talk. And he said to me, Warden is dead. And I kind of agreed if you play against TH and Infi because they are just that damn strong. But maybe it's more about the surprise factor. Throwing TH off a little. He will not expect a Warden on this map. On Terranos, for sure. On Northern Isles, for sure. On Amazonia, no way. It's going to be an important scout here from the footy early on. He will learn about the hero choice rather quickly. And I imagine will decide to play pretty aggressively then. Don't allow her to creep too easily. Lolight, how is he going to try to make this Warden work? Is it going to be double Ancient of War creeping? That's something we see a lot. And seems necessary on this map. Because it's not really that many easy to camps to creep without the second Ancient of War. Of course, both starting off with the lab. And... Uh, yeah, this is instant level two. Mm, no deny so far, right? Claws for the Warden, that is good. And the cloak, oh, the cloak can be so good. Since an ass patch, you can also hide during daytime. And one of the biggest strengths of the Warden is to blink into the human base, hide there and use uh, fan of knives to disrupt the human economy. That's now also possible during daytime, so it is really good. Level 2 aggression from the Warden, that's quite interesting. What kills is she realistically looking for? Passes, huh. footman. Is he gambling that TH is playing an expansion? But that's not happening. He confirms it now. So he went all the way across the map. Confirms this. Um, but not getting more done. The engine of war isn't moving. There's no second engine of war. I think he trades level threes, right? Like no warden level three against no archmage level three. Yeah, I guess so. And since the arch numbers are rather low in the beginning, you can't creep too effectively anyway. So he was trying to see what he could get done. We have seen quite a bit of main base run buys into the Wisp backline by human players recently. On level two even, uh, before level three. But it's only three footies here, and with the Warden ready with more mana, doesn't look like TH can achieve too much over here anymore. Goes for the dust, perhaps the boots? A player's forces mm, are no, but he, with his dust of appearance, he wants to be a little more aggressive, I guess, and try to get an archer here and there. Shadow Strike confirmed. Second spell not chosen yet, but some damage on this Archmage to threaten him a little. Oh, double Mercs by Lawli. It pulls the creeps away. The Wisp gets the Mercs. That's the spell against the Water Elementals. That's a little more piercing damage for creeping. Warden comes in once again. Once more experience. Archmage gets the Mantle, which is very good for the right clicks. And Boots now as well. Alright, finally creeping continues. Is he doing this without an Ancient of War? Yeah. Ah. That... Okay, special creep route Law Lion once again. A little bit Keeper-esque, using mana. That's quite mana heavy. Oh, the AM here. is coming! Ooh. Warden got it, right? Yeah. Ooh, that was real close. But it gets punished with more right clicks. This costs more Moon Juice then, but I think he's saved it's quite a, a bit. It's gonna be a ton of Moon Juice. Warden's out of health and out of mana. Yeah. And the rest of the camp goes to TH. Man, the read on this. Yeah. Great scouting by the human, knowing exactly what this ward needs to do, and that is leveling. And note, there is no second Ancient of War for the warden, so no easy creeping here from this point onward. And just these two little kobolds stolen making such a big difference. <sighs> Almost another Murloc stolen right there. AM1 kill away from the level up. So is the warden, I think, though. If he gets the footman, that should be the kill. TH is one of the best deniers in the game, or the block. He's not even willing to kill it, just wants to keep the warden away, so forces another Shadow nice. Strike to get level 3. Okay, damage intensifies, but you know what? We got the cure. Hello, Alchemist. Warden has always been a hero heavily reliant on finding kills, finding more pickoffs, finding more experience, and getting the powerful spells with that. And the Alchemist, early on with his powerful heal on tier 2, has for a long time been a counter to the Warden. However, what that means is no MK. So no Stone Bolt to worry yes. about, no Clap to worry about. And that's especially good for Bears and yes. Mountain Giants. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Exactly. we see Lolai attacking to Tier 3 right away. This is such an interesting dynamic in this game. We have uh, no Blink, we have Fan of Knives. So yeah. it's also the nice thing about when you're not facing MK, you're a lot safer than you would be otherwise. So you really don't need the Blink that much. Yeah. 
But the heal spray here to keep these full alive. The light really doesn't have the damage output yet to deal with this. Also, heal spray first, right? Like, usually with an alchemist, you get it, you're still in the creeping phase. With Acid Bomb, creeping is so much faster, and you kill a couple of archers to have more progress yourself. But with heal spray, of course, you lose less units, then you feed the warden not too much. There's more upgrades coming from the Ancient of War. Is this just uh, improved bows, or is he actually making more archers? We'll see in a bit. Could be Mountain Giant's archers. Yeah, Dryads have been pretty unpopular recently. Very weak in the late game against human, Three even if they're just tier 2. Okay. The light is engaging again. This is level 3 for the Archmage, but how much, how much progress on the Alchemist? And how much pressure on the Archmage? Okay, disengaging again. The big Sasquatch still up for grabs. Rifles and castles arrive. Makes the human army a lot stronger. If he commits with the level 2 Shadow Strike onto a Priest, maybe he can get that. But look at the Priest positioning, man. Yeah. So amazing by TH. Not exposing that one at all. But we have Reach in, so all the right clicks on the Warden are pretty much meaningless because uh, the healing is coming in right away. Same on the other side. This is a lot about sustain. TH might get the kill on the Shadow Priest. Good micro by Law Lion. Militia coming in, maybe a little too late to the party. Question is, is this just for fight support or is he actually going to tower now? Way. There's not much of an army yet for TH. He's got one rifle, two priests, no, no, and the rest back. is footies and militia. This task would be enormous for TH. That's why he's investing so much time into this. Of course, the light can always steal it with a shadow strike. TH playing nicely around it so far. Who's gonna get it? Oh, it was the Warden with the Shadow Strike, right? Yes, it yes. was. And that is all the time that the humans spend at the Night Elf shop for pretty much nothing. Also time for the tech to keep on progressing. It's close to level tier 3 now. Should be, at least. Warden gets another kill. If she gets to 4, it's going to be level 2 fan. Bear Master Training. That's going to change things. And there we go. Only a few seconds away now. The Warden... Edge of War is also in a good position to defend. One bear with another reach who costs some mana. The footmen have very good sustain here, of course, thanks to the heal spray. There's also a lot of mana. Loliath saves pretty much everything. Another Riju, and this bear, he has a number of bears. He's just waiting for the upgrade. I think it, it's finished now. Okay, he lost the fourth one. Are th th uh, three bears still enough? Where are the detonates, though? It was like three Not water coming. elementals on top of each other. Nice Zeppelin. Zeppelin save. That's pretty beautiful. Signature Law Lion move. Going for that Zeppelin. Doesn't really matter in what matchup. Level 4 Warden. And that finally. Can he get rid of the Footman? Because the mana of the Alchemist is down now. Towers are coming up as a little bit of a distraction, but not upgraded. Oh, the tower kill. Uh, the shop kill. Could be pretty good as well. Game on a knife stash. Fan of knives coming in. Good AoE damage here against these footies and everything else. That is the last heal spray right here. Not having the Orb of Venom from the shop, that hurts it definitely. How good is the Zeppelin control gonna be? He needs to be insane. He loses the Shadow Priest. It's not flawless here for sure, but it's all about the bears. There's no Dryads for the spell or poison damage. There's no poison damage at all. Finally, he's moving the Wisps out for the Detonates and burning some mana. Maybe with a Zeppelin drop even? Yeah, that feels very late. Why were the Wisps so late here with the Detonates? Not sure. He has enough Lumber, but this is all time for TH. Towers are coming up. Good old tier 2 human tower rush. And with those arcane standing, how is the warden supposed to engage anymore? She can't blink in. She doesn't have blink. And she can't really get in range of the arcane because, because then the mana will be drained. Zeppelin again. Oh, I thought for a second it's too late. Fan of Knives coming, but that's the last bit of mana. Detonates now to deplete the priests as well. Yeah, big detonates. Not enough damage. I don't think so either, man. Definitely lackluster army for Law Lion. Yeah. Warden on Amazonia still question mark to me. Rifles are about to fall though. But TH, oh, that save was great. And gets the bear in return. Another detonate. He's pretty much fighting without Zappers. any mana here. Boom. Oh, blows up the towers. No repair. He didn't see that coming. But the light lost a lot of bears right there. Yeah. Down to 34 supply only now. It's close to five, though. Yeah, I was there about to go. say, there we go. Level five. Must be fan of knives, right? 
or hero focus, not too sure. Oh, the, where's the Voodoo? Oh. Kind of oh low, my God, right clicks on the Zeppelin should be enough, right? I think Warden crashed. Uh, Zeppelin crashed, but I think the Warden got out. But he got, she got the Riju and like a split second after loading up into the Zeppelin. Really well done right there. But how can he hold on without any potions to use because there's still no shop. Without too much mana anymore, the Warden absolutely needs her spells, otherwise she's pretty much useless. DH with good kiting, distributes more damage onto these. Bear 3 about to fall. But if he can find more kills, if he can get level 6, maybe this is still doable. But it's so far away, she just hit level 5. Avatar of Vengeance, yeah, that could be good. The TP into... That's it! That's it! TH is once again overwhelming in this matchup. Survived an early level 3 Warden on AZ. <sighs> He's just a master of this race. Yeah, the heal spray just looking so perfect yes. against this Warden. Her strength is the early level 2 fan of Nice most of the time, so he was forced to go into Shadow Strike instead. Didn't even get that many kills with this. And the heal spray saves coming in time and time again. And we were up to 5 bears at one point, but it just wasn't enough. No, it wasn't enough. Also, one of the biggest strength of the Warden when you play her is mobility, blink, staff, sometimes even boots. TH, with this positioning, first at the shop, threatens the fight there because Lolite cannot give the Sasquatch up because then he loses uh, the necessary levels. And then he just kept on pressuring him into his own base. Like, how genius is that? He crept the lab and the little green, and that's it. I think actually a lot of that early game especially came down to the two kobolds getting stolen. If the Warden gets that, that's a lot of experience for her. There's a much faster level 4, there's a much faster level 5. Great read right there. And the Warden, yeah, if she doesn't get to 5 quickly, if she doesn't have, you know, the blinking around, the mass economy harass, yeah. and the level 6 and stuff, she can even fall just to a level 1 alchemist and a couple of rifles. Yeah, that was by far the weakest Warden map in the three remaining we have. Next are Terna Stand and Northern Isles, so she is way more powerful there. He still felt that the Warden is a better idea than a Demon Hunter or Keeper of the Grove. Yes. Especially for Keeper, I think that has to be accepted yeah. now uh, globally. But yeah, why is he trusting not at all in this Demon Hunter? We have seen know. other players uh, being able to, vic to be victorious with the Demon Hunter, if you do get the necessary levels quickly enough. And AZ is an okay map for creeping level 3 Demon on. It's not super yeah. amazing, but it's like, all right. But, well, the Warden is his hero. And if she does get to the super late game, she is very strong. So, next map coming up. Terranus stand, it is. And yeah, the question of the first heroes here is a big one for yeah. both sides. As always. In the past five encounters, TH won four of it. But the map, well, all I had was the most successful is Terrana Stand. And here we have the hero roulette. We have to explain it once again for people not too familiar. Lol Iad, as you saw, loves to go for the warden. You love to counter that as a human with a mountain king. Because you can get good creeping with clap it super fast and with Stormbolt you can disable the warden. So if you anticipate a mountain king as a night elf, you can go demon hunter because mana burn is the natural counter to the mountain king because without his spells he's pretty much nothing. But recently we've seen Blood Mage second accompanying the Mountain King and he can out siphon yep. the Demon Hunter. So this is the hero choices alone are super damn interesting and the level of play between them is probably the highest we've seen in this tournament so far. TH, will he keep the 2-0 streak of this tournament tournament day alive? Or will we finally go full distance and see Northern Isles as well? Lin got some points for newbie. Is it time for TH? to strike back. He's in the upper left. He is considered the favorite, maybe even the favorite of I in this group alongside Lin and Law Lion in the bottom right. So, Engine of War creep against the mercenary camp. Can mean a warden, must not mean a warden. Yeah. I am absolutely expecting an MK, but I couldn't tell you about Law Lion. If I, if I had to put down a bet right now, I'd say Demon. Me too, but maybe that's just because I've believed what he said to my face and maybe <laughs> I shouldn't do that. <laughs> that was your mistake, Neil. <laughs>
going to be determined here in a moment. MK will always mean fast creeping to three and basically always mean fast expansion almost every single time. Yeah. The Chinese human so good with that hero here as the first hero choice. Mountain King it is. Yep. There we go. We had to expect this. Question is, what do we have here? <sighs> Warden. Okay. Against every other person in the world except Infi, I would say that's the right choice because Lol Iot is slaughtering every other human with this hero. But TH and Infi are once again one step ahead of the entire scene and they just know how to counter it. Yeah, normally super solid with the early defensive play, early level three, early expansion. And Terranos stand, especially in this matchup, has been really interesting. Um, with the MK first, we have seen a wide variety of late game strats for the human. We have seen mass Dragonhawks very successfully. We have seen <laughs> mass Tanks very successfully. We've even seen mass Gyros, but that was probably because uh, one player was much superior to the other. But there's a lot of stuff you can play with this MK first. You can also go AM second into casters or something. So there's a big array of strats that TH can uh, choose from. Whereas for Light, it's like, well, he probably needs bears in the late game. He probably needs MGs in the late game and fairies. Um, so it feels like he is more shoehorned into a specific strategy. Mental of Intelligence for the Mountain King is a good first item. A uh, big mana potion could change everything. What it's oh, scroll the beast for Lawlight. And did he deny anything? Don't. S no. TH denied something. Yeah. So he's not level two. Has to go for the little apprentice wizards here. Huh. No, I don't actually, I don't think he did. The overlay was just huh. lagging behind yeah. a little bit. Everything that's mana is great for these two heroes. Boom, Ooh. plus six int right there. Ooh, second engine of war, though we've seen this before. It's again the Warden Mass Hunt all in. And we are both not the biggest nope. fans. We love our long and worn out games with level eight, nine Warden. We, I, don't, I don't really see the synergy of a level that scales so well into a late game combined with a strategy that doesn't scale into the late game at all, that is pretty much all in in the 10 minute game. So Warden has to do some damage now. Fan of Knives and Blink. Did he get the last hit? I'm not sure. I think so. He got the item. Yep, Talisman, really good. Can he get the last hit? Oh, Stormbolt nicely by TH. So this Berserker goes to him. Well, it's level 3 to 9 for the MK. That's a big deal. Yeah. And now he can't really creep up at the green too easily because then he will be exposing his peasants exactly what the Warden is waiting for. Engine of War continues oh, creeping. Look at that. Expert creeping by Lol as okay, always. Okay, so maybe it's not a Huntress Hall oh mass wow. hunt all in. That maybe it's just for creeping. And maybe this little genius found another great creep route. This opening is so good. Look at how he's keeping the MK busy. Yeah. It all depends on getting one last hit steal, though. <laughs> if you don't get it, it's <laughs> kind of uh, bad. Dust reveals the warden. She blinks out. She should be safe. Steps on the Mountain King. Does he know? I think the Chinese know the item by now. We, unfortunately, can't tell, but we will see in the overlay in a bit. We have Stormbolt and Collab for the MK this time. No bash, which became kind of trendy. The warden is level 3. If she can deny the level 3 of the opponent once again, this would be tremendous. But the MK is very close now. Clap versus Fog. What a battle. Oh. Two of the strongest AoE spells in the game. But Warden goes for the shop. Is it boots? Hell is a scroll. Yeah, I can see that. If you only go archers and not hunts and oh. all in, I can totally see that. What? If you go all in, isn't the scroll like super amazing? Yeah, yeah, but he's not. Yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's also what I gleaned from this. Seems like it's not going to be an all in play, which I like. Because if the human defends well enough, which is what you can expect from TH, then that's kind of a losing strategy. Stormbolt. And blink out again. That's the little downside with the bashes, right? Lolliot and a couple of other night elves lost a lot to lucky bashes recently. So with that Stormbolt clap combo, the Mountain King is way more predictable because nothing relies on luck and RNG, but more on TH pressing the right buttons. Great footy scout coming in there. MK can join with a telly staff, and suddenly this brilliant creep route is in a lot of danger. Oh, the Age of War is going to fall, and the Shredder may fall as well. TH suddenly with a brilliant play, possibly getting a big lead in this game. Needs a Zeppelin maybe. Oh, hero kill inbound. TH has still the big invul, right? Oh no, used it before or sold it. 
Archer's fall, Engine of War fall. Shredder seems a little safe, but Lolliot feels very confident oh. of getting the kill. I'm not so sure about that. If there's a Storm Wolf, there must be a TP dodge. That Shadow Priest is so valuable. <sighs> These bits of healing here, little by little. Keeping the MK safe, keeping the TP active. There was the Berserker dying, the Archer dying, and most importantly, the Ancient of War dying. The light is expanding, though, behind this. He needs it. You need to be on two bases versus two bases, maybe even 3-2. That's a cool game so far. I like this. Hell yeah. Both players with some really smart opening builds, scouting, counters to what the opponent is doing. I also like that TH went for the Tele Staff because he can be 100% sure that the Warden goes for it. So what's the item now? Scroll, Scroll the Beast. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> He knew he had a second one, so that's why he probably sold the first one. It looks like this should be an easy cancel, doesn't it? Like, Lolite has no army. He's got 23 supply. Yeah. Oh, that tree getting cancelled. That is such a big... This footy scout. <laughs> is it the same one from the creep jack? I don't know. He's a hero. Warden yeah. battling against the MK. She has the mana superiority, but she doesn't have Shadow Strike. Yo. No single target damage, and then she loses the fights. Ooh, arm was in the air, both with pump fakes. Now the Wisp comes in. Was that enough to detonate? Yes, it was. No Stormbolt anymore. <sighs> both incredibly fast, but TH is buying more time, getting the Blacksmith. Only now the Tier 3 with the cancelled expansion on Tier 2. That's going to be a lot of pressure on Lawlight. He needs an arm. Again, the pump fake. Like Mind games going on between the two now. Although I can't find any kills, so how's he gonna get the levels now? Creeping, I guess. Ancient of War is in position in the bottom left. But he can only creep with Ancient of War. The army is still so tiny. That creep jack at the lab made such a massive difference this game. Building an Ancient of uh, Tree of Life in the main, and guess what? TH scouts it in seconds again. He's just pushing for it, right? It's once again his disposable footman that he just throws away. It's an aggressive push, though. That's uh, very far across the map. Oh, he's going for the mercs. That's Th really nice. This time he's fighting a shredder. All oh, the wanted to go for that as well. Uh, at least he knows what's up. Oh, defend as well. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is so hard to hold now. TA just canceling the expansion twice. Outstanding play by TH. And Lawlight, he's trying his best, man, and he's... He has some really amazing plays in here himself, but TH is just in full control. Yeah. He covered so much. The bottom left, the mid right. Pen of Knives was good. Level 4 makes Blink a lot cheaper. Oh, shouldn't lose the Dryad. Nope, the light is aware, but the footy block. Oh, I thought for a second he's actually saving this one, but uh -uh. Tier 3 is coming. Mortar teams are. Like oh, workshop. triple workshop. Romantic influence. Noticeable. This is going to be tanks, ladies and gentlemen. Absence of a panda makes this pretty easy to rock. Yeah, and holding on to mass tank play with the economy of only one base, in addition to the lacking of a panda, is extremely hard, if not impossible. Yeah. Could also be mass gyrocopters. We've seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> You're laughing, but we've seen yeah, this before by T8. Yeah, I know, I know. Against Lolliot, actually. Could that actually be better? Ba -bam. Could that actually be better? Or is he like, whatever, I can win either way. I mean, what is Lolliot supposed to build against Mass Gyros at this point with triple workshop? Well, I mean, Dryads are better against Gyros than they are against tanks. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> still, if you have uh, 15 Gyros... Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very tough position. Mountain it King Solo, by the way, we didn't mention this. TH not going for Blood Mage. Just rushing tier 3 math gyros again. This is exactly what he played last week. And the landmines will be coming in soon. And the moonwells might not be long for this world. Warden is getting closer to 5. But gyros don't care about phantom knives. Neither do they give corpses. Yeah. So, what's the answer to math gyros for Night Elf? You can't really go hippos because flag cannon kills them. Yeah, must be a panda, right? But there's not much creeps anymore, or not, not many creeps anymore. 
Demon with auto of Venom is also not too bad, but the Warden has much lower right click, so she has a much tougher time dealing with the Gyros. TH pretty rich here. 1500 gold, making sure he's not in upkeep. Yeah, the Warden has to do some staff blink magic, right? He's trying now. Panda as well. And anti magic. Okay, Warden level 5. This is where she's the strongest, because exactly this. Blink in. Fan of knives, fan of knives, couple of kills, blink out. And there is a panda second. This will not be solo warden. Feels a little bit late though, but I guess he desperately needs it. Yeah. Expo's on the way as well. Once again, oh. nice triple kill. That's Closer to level six. That's a ton of kills right there. A level six won't do too much. I think blink three is better. And is this enough damage? From the landmines to kill the tree? No. No pandas here. MK continuing to creep. Here comes the Orb of Venom now. And of course the flying machines being so fast, really hard to keep up with them. They're distracting very well right now for the MK to keep on creeping. Yeah. Is he seriously playing MK solo? <laughs> Looks like it, huh? There's no way that's the best way to play that here. No. Especially not against Warden Panda. Like a Blood Mage will not be threatened by Shadow Strike because there is no Shadow Strike. The Panda is an AoE damage dealer but not single target. So the Blood Mage would be safe, especially tier 3 with Staff. And he w could disable, on level 3, could disable both of the Night Elf heroes. But TH loves the Mountain King, wants to see him rise high. And perhaps he creeps level 5 first, or close to it, and then goes for a second hero maybe? maybe. He's adding so much. Paladin second, okay. Paladin. And knights, knights and tanks and tanks everything and he's attacking and the panda's not ready does he have a staff on the panda no what is staff though yeah and wasn't that many gyros blink in one looking for more kills it's gonna be another couple yeah but who's defending the tree of life i mean the gyro damage is at first underwhelming but it adds up so here we go pushed by th he wants to kill this again Knights, good against buildings. Tanks, good against buildings. Law Liar just gives this up. Yeah. No saving anymore. I think even if he TPs in with the Panna right there, I don't think he can no, save that. Not on level 2. He's buying time for the level 3. But where to find it now? Oh. Super tanky, by the way, with the two rings. A town is under siege. There's a lot of peasant kills available in the main. He somehow has to defend against the tanks. There's no engines of war. He didn't build them in the base. There's pretty much no damage against them. There's a couple of bears, but it's so hard to hold. Okay, Warden comes in. Panda's down to 50%. Gets a redo. Fan of Knights is okay, but Knights and everything is so sturdy. Stormbolt on the Panda. If he dies, there's really nothing to defend, but he got level 3. So the level 2 Breath of Fire is really big. MK starting to drop low. That was the last bit of his mana. No claps anymore. Lolite is holding on and wow. he's forcing the TP away, but lost a lot of Moonwells. Okay, yeah. He lost every single one. Not only is that bad because he's supply stuck and TH will go up to 80 food again. That also means pretty much no mana regen on two very mana hungry heroes. And we get the Blood Mage and he loves to use the Siphon mana. Yep, there we go. That is the combo you want to play with an MK, MK, Pally, Blood Mage. Just, just delaying them for a better experience gain for the level 3 clap, which is insanely powerful against bears. Yeah. A player's forces are under attack. Seize the tanks again. 2-2 two, two upgraded already. Yeah. <laughs> Not easy to deal with. That is pretty crazy indeed. And only two, ba three bear, four bears. I think TH could just expand a third time. Thanks to the tank distraction. Yeah, well I can't even get any units right now. Like Mud Golem would be cool, but he doesn't have the supply ready. Until these Moonwells finish. Is he just aiming for the tree? No. Moonwells first. That's smart. 180 gold to replace one. And you take them out so quickly. And you stop the army in its tracks. Oh, Gyro's coming in. Panda looking for the breath. Get some good kills right there. These tanks will all die. There's level 4 for the Panda. Okay. Is Lolite really coming back into this? It's be quite crazy. He's 
Lurking for more kills in the main with an Invu potion as well. Zeppelin comes in for the defense. Tanks, Shredder and Bear take care of this. Oh, the Zeppelin actually just for the passants. I thought maybe he's bringing the Mountain King, but no. Okay, he holds the base. And supply is equal. That was pretty costly for the human. Hello, Light. It looks like he's back in this. He lost ex expansion a couple of times, but his heroes are just way superior. And guess what? He's preventing mining here again. And it is level six now for the Warden. And he does Wait, go for the ultimate. Okay. That's interesting because I really think the human army doesn't provide too much corpses. Yep. I don't think Blink scares that well from two to three, though. It's only three second decrease. Going for more kills. Forcing the TP back. Law Lion, man, he's getting his way back into this match. Just the staff. This time he didn't blink out. Okay. Moon Juice was regenerating a little. TH almost up at a thousand gold, but replacing all these peasants took some gold out of his bank account. This is really well done by Law Lion, man. This, it looked like this game was in the books, but he. Utilized the Panda and the Warden perfectly, got them the levels they needed. Warden has the ultimate now. Panda, if he gets to five, he is outstanding against yeah. Gyros. I'm pretty impressed how fast he got that Panda to 4.3. Yeah. I didn't expect this at all. The four Please. tanks plus Gyros dying in yeah. the main, that was a lot of experience. Yeah. Gust of Alicia movement could be towers into Expo there. Problem now? Siphon Mana is good on level 1, it's outstanding at level 2, how to get the Blood Mage to 3? And yeah, the map is mostly crap, there's yeah. really not much to do anymore here. Well, I scouted this, is immediately there, it's a little risky as the step teleportation is on cooldown, but it's kind of close to the main. But TH uses that as a distraction to push again. These green creeps are some of the last on the map, this will be close to level 2 for the Blood Mage, Banish, I don't really see being too effective against these Dryads. Well, I mean, Banish Bold is still a good combo, but not really worth it. Probably want to spam Siphon instead, I imagine. So, Warden, where is she? She can just continuously go into the economy here. Ooh, picking up the Morgan teams would be big. A player's uh, the push arrives. Supply is somewhat equal. M Moon Juice is empty though. Anti magic a little too late. Panda already down to 50%. Warden comes back in. Absolutely necessary. But Pen of Knives doesn't do anything to Spellbreakers. There's not too many knights. Oh, this mortar team. That's, that's big. Miss Rally by TH. A rare mistake in the play of the Chinese. It's a weird army by TH though. He, yes, he has magic immune units. But there's no healing here. We have no priests. It's outside of the heroes, very little damage as well. <laughs> Cannon towers. Since we have most likely frag shards on tier 3, why not? And the mains must be soon expiring, I imagine. Are we approaching 23 minutes? It's a little too early. Look at this MK, by the way. He has got no experience yeah. since reaching level 5. That has been a while. These little spirits are invulnerable, can't be attacked. Dryads are very, very fast, can always run away because they can't be storm bolted. They're also magic immune. And the projectiles of the mortar teams are too slow, so they can always run away from. Will we see two mountain giants? One of them not in the fight. The collab range and damage is insane. But Fan of Knives, not to be underestimated. Siphoning away the mana of the panda. Who's okay, the bears are once again dropping so low. Oh, the dryad dance stops for a little. The mortar shots hitting. Loliath, not with the best micro at the moment. Find some kills though, we'll be able to take out one knight at least. Next breath of fire could be big, blank fan, double kill. Oh, wow, TH all of a sudden struggling or what? Neck and neck fight, but Loliath needs healing. Tries to buy time for the heal ward to run, and there's not too much range. There's one more, the team oh, kills it forward. now. Yeah. Trades it for a couple of hits, and the number of Mortar teams now is crucial. If you get four of them, they dominate in damage. If you pick them up one by one, they're kind of wasted. Oh, surround the avatar. It's gonna be a decent chunk of experience, but Lolite can resummon it very soon. Yeah, the big level ups are quite far away for TH. 
No level 6, no level 3 on either side. And so the Korean is engaging again. The clap was once again great. Would love to have a Demon Hunter now for that. No staff on Lawli at side as well. Could save one or two bears here, but the focus fire on the Mountain King. Chases him, continues to chase him. Stormbolt as a revenge. No, nothing for Blink. Needs to TP soon. Playing with fire, but survives. Last rides die. With these more teams having frag shards, rides really don't survive for much longer. But Dryads, not really that necessary anymore, it seems like. It's nice to have the slow against the Breakers and the Knights if they're retreating especially. But there's no air, there's no water elementals that you have to stop with the spell. And even if there's a lot coming, like maybe even Master Priest or something, you can use Wiz. Oh, main gold mines are dry. Does he have Nature's Blessing? He does. He does. Seven armor, increased movement speed, that's what he needs. So the Tree of Eternity is moving over to the natural. He has these mountain giants who can soak up the damage, but there's also a lot of siege coming into this army. Knights, mortars, and the second expansion. Takes a while with only two peasants creating, but seems to be safe. Bears are not morphed to master. TH just poking into Lollite's area of the map. There's no third expansion by TH in the upper right. The Wisp is constantly scouting for it, so that's good. But when these two towers finish, we're gonna have four towers at the expo. Yeah, this seems very secure then. Yeah, I think it's about, like, this can't be broken. It's about blink fan of knives to slow down mining and get yourself a tree of life in the upper right. So uh, it's two base, two base again. Or one and a half base for TH because it's crippled. But again, Warden not in for the defense. Now comes the staff. A lot of mana for the light here. Blink fan, I'm waiting for it. He needs to hold this, otherwise he's dead. There's two gold mines for TH. He needs to establish this tree of eternity. Even the Shredder is in the fight here. A lot of beef in this army, but the MK with the level 3 clap has the perfect spell to play against this. Yeah, and still 10 supply lead. It's looking grim for Lawlight. Walks into Siphon range. Natural should also be expiring soon, right? Yeah. And then we're going to be nice. down to one base versus one. If he establishes this tree. We have a staff now and an anti-magic. No invul, no heal scroll. No heal scroll against the clap. Seems risky. Triple staff on TH, by the way. He's not fooling around at all. Mountain Giant maybe a little bit out of position. Siphon again tries to blink out, works, engages in the north. There's no Zephyr this time. He's trying to reach the mortar teams. The most important thing, can't really follow it up with the Breath of Fire. The Panda is far away from this fight, but he's pushing TH back. The clap though. One man army, you see it. Warden in the back, first mortar dead. Anti-magic here, she can't really get controlled. More staffs coming in, Divine Shield from the Pally, lots of damage on this Warden, but the Blood Mage just died! Oh wow, how did, how he die? did that happen? Clap again, Mana on the Warden, still looking okay. Needs some healing soon. Oh, Stormbolt Staff out, that's exactly the purpose of the staff. Shadow Strike, I thought for a second, but no, of course, we don't have Shadow Strike here. Oh boy, we have a two base. Oh, a three base versus one base at the moment. Nice how he cancels a little bit of healing with these uh, spirits. Would love to know how much gold is left in the natural. That's very important. And how fast will Lawlight scout the upper right? A player's forces are TH attack. didn't win the game here. Didn't break the Tree of Eternity. But slowly but steady getting further and further ahead. And closer to big level ups. Blink fan once again, the breath is ready. He's close to level up, but the staff saves two units at least. He wants the Mountain King now. Stops him with the Stormbolt, can blink right after it. Oh. Can he kill him? Can he just kill him? Holy Light is there. Even on level one, Breath of Fire follow up. Can he reach a shop or something? Breath of Fire. Zeppelin! Oh, he comes <laughs> in. The Warden was blinking in, ready for the right click, but no. The oh pilot God. for the rescue. And tanks, of course. One bear, one uh, shredder. shredder is not good enough. Especially if you defend with a warden with a panda, maybe. So Lawlight again, supply stuck. Yeah, very smart tanks. Super frustrating to play against, as many of us will know, but extremely effective in a low econ at this point, scrappy game here in the super late game. And you need to have the right timing to build them, to send them, and to arrive with them. 
Otherwise, it's easy to defend, or you just throw them away, or they soak up supply for your real army. So he deals with the tanks. Mountain King still in trouble as long as there's Holy Light. It's getting better though. Clap again. This feels like we're getting Avatar soon, but no, we're not there yet. Blood Mage is back. Siphon. How fast he's blinking away from the spell though. Tien is like almost completely out of mana though. I was about to say, like, where is Lawlai at 66 supply? That's the answer. So he's holding with like half of his army, and the breakers are low, and the bears are surviving. Yeah, TH has to TP out of this. Yeah. And needs to buy TP, I think. Oh, more kills. Maybe Breath of Fire wants this. Oh! Wants this. Blood Woo! Mage exposes the Mountain King, but Jesus. got it now. Ooh, he's playing with fire. Still no level 3 on 2nd and 3rd hero, and Lolly had got that one, but the upper right belongs to TH. Natural. Please show me the gold. Such an impressive game from both these guys. TH dri uh, diving into the main with 4 tanks and the gyros, I think that was the only real mistake in this whole game. They're both playing so well. Yeah. This is Masterclass Warcraft right here. Zeppelin comes in with 2 tanks. It's a drop. Shredder is with the expo again. Moonwells are the number one target. Or are they? Yes, they are. Can cancel it here, though. Get the resources back at least. Shouldn't lose production either. Bears are here. Mountain Giants with siege sticks should be doing a good job. But the position, man. He can only attack like with one third of his army. Now it's getting better, but... Another push. Man, is this a back and forth. Tuck of war between them. Mortar teams, only one? It's not that scary then. True. Bears funneling in, getting stone bolted right away. MK again with quite a bit of mana over here. This is valuable experience. Paladin is one kill away from the level up to three, which is going to be massive. And a level five, of course. Can he connect to the backside? Not really. Raw being used. Blink, blinks uh, out of the siphon. That's level three. And that's such a big deal because of the healing, especially on the Mountain King. He's losing more and more HP on the front line on the bears and the mountain oh. giants. Siphon, there should be enough healing. There we go. It's so Holy close. Light again. It's so close and everywhere. Him back. They're both about to lose everything. They're both about to be completely out of mana. For Lolly, it's 20 supply about to die. Close to level 7 there as well. Mortar firing away. Taunt of the Mountain King Giant. Distracts even more. How Re much value did he get out of these triple staffs, by the way? <laughs> yeah, a lot. A lot. Late game human. Hard to break with all the tools they have. Natural has finally run out, but I believe TH established a new yeah. income top right. Yeah. He certainly with did. Four towers. That was expensive. Fast build, four towers. But he will be the one mining in the, the very end. And he has more items to sell, I guess. <sighs> Lolite already came back at least once really impressively this game. But now he's playing two base versus one with the enemy hero scaling better at this point. Yep. Well, level six Panda can still decide games. Let's not forget about that. But he's not going for experience, not too much getting the more. The only target are the mortar teams, right? Yeah. Everything else he can't really get. And he got level seven on the warden, but it's not that good. Whereas level three, Blood Mage, it's not super close, but it's kind of close. And that's an insane level up. Oh, yeah. It feels like at this point, Lawlight -like, needs the Panda on six. Again, great distraction in the main with the tanks. Lolite really hard here to make the perfect choice of how to split up his army. He's already down in supply and a chunk of his army needs to deal with the tanks at home. MK staffing in, that's valuable. Bears right there should be easy kills. One gets it. He's kind of stranded over here, but... Just runs away. All right. But he's not in this fight here in the south and that means no clap. This could be a big chance for Lolite to win something here. Pally's low HP, perhaps hero kill there could be the possibility. Has Divine Shield though to rely on, Breath coming in. Level 3 Breath that is. Oh, MK almost surrounded by these bears! And there would have been staffs ready, of course there's always staffs ready for T8. Oh, that clap was glorious once again. Mountain King back to 50% but the tanks are still wreaking havoc. He didn't have the time to kill them before they kill more buildings. New bears 
arrive for new Riju and new Roar. Staff inside of Lawlight as well. Everyone saves pretty much everything. And Time Magic using the Stormbolt can hit her. Can he go for the Paladin? Down to one third, maybe. But the tanks arrive at the tree. TH wants the kill and wants the series. Can the light still hold on? He has been able to stay in this game so well, but now it seems to be perhaps a little bit too much. The double econ income, so powerful here for the human, along with these claps, which are destroying the tank single-handedly. It has to be hero kill. Massive. It has to be hero kill yeah, for but, the light. But how? Against triple staff and holy light. I ask you how? Trio opportunity has to uproot. There's repair, but the repair is not enough. The Night Elf is without income. TH is finally breaking through these wall of leaves, as it seems. Blinks away. Warden and Panda. That's the last straw. Yeah, TH was looking a little bit shaky earlier, but that's it. GG. Another great Night Elf versus Human game on Terranus. Every now and then, we're graced with these super entertaining, long, mass-based games. And TH, yeah, showing all of his quality in that match. Follows Lin into the top of the group. He and TH, like Lin and TH, both 2-0 against their opponents, Fly and Law Lyot. So one Rogue Warrior, one newbie on top. Same goes for the bottom position with uh, Foggy. Not having a match yet. He is playing Fly, uh, Lin at the moment. I haven't gotten any results just yet. Big shout out though to Lolite, like uh, staying in this game, surviving for as long as he did. Uh, basically nobody else can do this. He got an expansion, cancelled once, killed later, and then still came back into what almost seemed like a lead with a super strong warden plus panda combo. Uh, the expansion got kicked Three times, right? Once in the bottom left, once in his base, and once ah, yeah, and the base got cancelled at, at the as forest well. as well on the other side of the forest. So that means TH is scouting. Yeah, impeccable footman yeah. scouting. It all started with that staff creep jack at the lab. That changed so yeah, that changed much. Everything. If the light gets that camp, he keeps all of his units alive. He gets level four and the big item and the momentum in that game is completely different. Footy scouting plus tele staff, man. TH and Infi, they just. Have mastered it to perfection. Like they fell to these plays as well, but they learn so much from other players using these tools against them. They're like, they're like Mega Man. You know, they defeat their opponents once they take their power and adapt it to their playstyle. Scary. It's so scary. But I wouldn't say Lowlight has bad chances in this group. Uh, of course, he got the loss here, but he looked pretty solid. He looked pretty strong. His remaining opponents, unfortunately for him, are still extremely strong in their own right. We have Fly, Lin, and Foggy. Big question mark Foggy. We haven't really been able to tell yet. How yeah. is his shape? He is either right now playing against Lin or they already finished. This is going to be a yeah. big tell for us as well. Uh, I could look it up. That is super unprofessional, I guess, to look at my phone, but this is important, I guess, to the broadcast, so excuse me, guys. Our fourth game, by the way, today is going to be back to Group A, Yumiko versus WFZ, the two friends of so many years we're meeting now next with perhaps their own little meta. They oh sometimes yeah. have, uh, you know, their own bills, which they perfect and have honed. And of course, know each other basically inside out. So this is going to be a fun yeah. match. Lin is leading 1-0 against Foggy. So he's currently the leader of the group of death. To no surprise, uh, too many, I guess. The good thing for Lawlight is the human is out of the way. That's the matchup that he complains the most. And every single time we talk, he complains about human. A um, little bit understandable as well, especially with TH and Infi finding the solution to the Warden, apparently. The rest of his schedule, I think, is better. Um, he's the favorite against Fly, he's the favorite against Foggy. So it could come down to the match of Law Lyot Lin, or whatever happens with uh, Lin TH later, because that's our main event of the day. It's gonna be a cool game. I'm really, really looking forward to that. Don't get me wrong, Yumi WZ, that's also a lot of fun, but yeah. TH versus Lin, man. <sighs> it's gonna be a banger. This, yeah, seriously. like. The next match that's coming up is really interesting because of their own play styles, and especially Yumiko plays very, very different from TH in Fee Romantic. Um, yep. So it's just very refreshing to see. Also with how well they know each other. Um, it's going to be interesting how they react to each other. But world class, like TH Lin could be the grand final of everything here, and we get it day one. And also for Yumi versus WZ, they both lost their first game. Uh, the one who loses the next one is going to be really tough to make it out of the groups. Yeah. A lot of things have to go right for you. 
and perhaps a bit of luck as well. So this could be an early uh, bye-bye, perhaps for one of these already. Yeah, especially uh, for Yumiko, I think. But yeah, once again, uh, we go into a little break right here, but you should definitely visit backtowarcraft.com. Not only do you find all the information about us and what we do on there, there's also a little giveaway. I heard uh, pretty like a few people out there might be interested in Warcraft 3 Reforged. Hell yeah. And what better way to get it than for free? Because we give out seven keys for Warcraft 3 Reforged, the Spoils of War edition. All you have to do is to take part in a little uh, survey. So who do you think is going to win WGL Winter? And who are you rooting for? So you find that at backtowarcraft.com. Yumiko vs. WFZ. Um, we have some highlights here coming up in a moment. And then it's time for Group A again. Yumi vs. WFZ coming your way after the break.